Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to um, another podcasty type show and tell video. Um, sorry I've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, my last video was my holiday video. Um, reason being is that I didn't really do much crafting. Um, I did a little bit but not like tremendous amounts. Um, and then I just thought I'd have a little break, catch up with some bits and pieces and then come back this week. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday, as yesterday was my first day out of isolation. Um, I come helicopter. <laughs> I came back and had to isolate for ten days. Um, so yeah, it was pretty much boring to be honest. Um, I didn't even still now. I haven't really done much crafting. I've read quite a lot. Um, I'm on to my third ebook. <laughs> um, and I'm really, really enjoying reading the book that I'm reading. So it's the Lavender Bay collection and it's called um, Snowflakes... Snowflakes in Lavender Bay, I think. Um, and there was like a series of three and this is the third one I'm on and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, the weather here <laughs> has been so up and down, it's crazy. Uh, at the moment it's pouring with rain, but I am absolutely sweltering. Um, I'm so hot. I've been shopping today uh, just to get some bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, so um, what happened last week? So I had to do my day two and day eight COVID tests. They come back negative. Um, Freedom Day was really <laughs> was come about, um, but in my area, I must admit, there's more people wearing masks than not wearing masks, which is really good. I'm still wearing my mask. Um, obviously, if I'm going into supermarkets and things like that, don't wear it in the street. But if I'm going into a shop or something, then I will wear it because I just feel a bit safer at the moment. Um, I did go into a shop. Um, this morning, uh, my Apple Watch stopped working while I was away, so I had to take that into Curry's. Um, and I went in this morning and had my mask in my hand. And as I've walked in, I've completely forgot to put it on. And I was like, oh, my mask. I was like, I don't need to put it on, but I want to. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll get a new Apple Watch at some point. It's out of warranty, but I've claimed on the consumer rights. Consumer rights act law whatever it is um so hopefully i'll be able to get a new one and it worked because i really miss it um should we get on with what i've been actually crafting on um i have a couple of finished objects um were these on the go before i went i can't actually remember where i was last time and i couldn't be bothered to look back but i have one finished pair of socks for ollie um Whoops, I'm dropping everything on the floor. And these are just tube socks, but for the heels, I've just done like a ribbed back. So it should stretch around his heel nicely um, and feel a little bit more com comfortable. Um, I had one finished before I went away because I tried it on him and it fitted. Uh, so, but then I decided to make a second pair and this yarn just reminds me of like granddad yarn I don't know like granddad colours I don't know why I think it's like the brown and the reds and, and everything but so I have now got this pair which is exactly the same I've oh sorry these were I cast on 44 with these 44 stitches but these ones are casted on, cast on 48 stitches because it worked the back worked out a bit better and I thought well they'll last him longer as well um, and then I have started another pair for him which is um, this pair which I just need to kitchen of the toe which is this pair all this yarn is commercial sock yarn um, this might even be like head over heels or something I can't really remember. Um, I have made socks with all this, this yarn before. Um, I made my dad a pair of socks out of this. And I made ba uh, Mikey, when he was a newborn, a pair of socks that never really fitted him properly because he had quite wide feet. So yeah, then these. So these are 48 stitches as well. I've done a 12 row 2x2 two two rib. I've done 20 
rounds before I went into the, oh you probably can see it better on this one, the um, ribbed heel. I've done 25 rounds there and then in total I've done 80 rounds and then done the toe down to 12 stitches um, because I did down to 10 stitches on this one and it seems really pointy on his toes. Um, Ollie's got quite flat toes and I think most children have until their feet start growing and things so hopefully this might be a little bit better for him. I have more yarn in here um, so I've got this yarn that I might make socks for him out of and this yarn but we shall see that is just living in this bag I did take this away with me and I can't actually remember. <laughs> I think I started these while I was away. Um, I can't actually remember, but there is two finished objects there. Um, also, before I went as well, I cast on a sock head hat in some yarn that I dyed up last year. Um, and I've done more here than I did while I was away, and that's not a lot because um, I think I finished the rib before I went. So the rib ends here and this is what it looks like so far. Um, really loving the yarn, love, love, love it. I didn't think I would, um, but I think it would be really nice winter, <coughs> excuse me, and really nice wintry hat. Um, so I really am enjoying the yarn. Um, I haven't really knitted on it much. Um, I think because it's hot and I know I'm not going to be wearing a hat just yet that I'm like I want to knit everything else Ian's coming in the door so um yeah so that's that then I started socks for me before I went away which were these ones with a slip stitch heel flap and gusset and these are like mid socks they're not really shorties they're like mid socks so I've decided to do those and this is in my Colourpop colourway that I dyed last year. It was in the shop and I did sell some um, and I just really, I thought it would micro stripe a little bit more than it has done but it is striped if that makes sense. Um, the second one is just here and I'm onto the toe. Um, so yeah, the main yarn is Colourpop by me. And then the contrast is a yarn that was by Ava Innie Yarns, I believe. Um, I bought, um, it was okay in the 80s yarn, I think. And this came as a mini. She, um, at the time, I don't know if she's doing it now, but every yarn that you bought, she put a mini with it as well so um, that's what I'm using I thought it went really really well with the colour pops that are in it um, yeah so I'm just doing a normal slip stitch heel and gusset I followed the tutorial of Kay from the crazy sock lady and really really easy really simple um, I have done slip stitch heels before but I've just always imagined them being a bit of a faff um, but it wasn't, it was okay. So I'm pleased with that. I'm really sorry if I'm sort of going through this quickly, but like I said, I haven't really got that much to show. And I thought I would do a video. So next time, hopefully I'll have some finished objects. Um, so yeah, that is very nearly finished. Um, and then the only other thing that I've got to show today, really, <laughs> um, is I've sort of fallen down the rabbit hole of using up scraps and I have started a cosy memories blanket <laughs> well it might be a cosy memory something or other because I haven't decided yet um, and I've only got two squares uh, but I wanted to use up uh, quite a bit of the small balls of yarn so I've got balls that are like oh and I have weighed these and that is that part of that that must be um I have used no I've weighed it that's it I've weighed it and they are exactly five grams each 
so I know I only need like six grams of a yarn so I've got yarns like balls like this and this one's a bit bigger um, the yarns from my jumper that I knitted the um, flax light um, Halloween colorway um, lots of different yarns the autumn colorway so I've got lots of hand dyed yarns here that I want to include and I don't know whether to include the um, commercial yarn, sock yarn. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably have to in the long run because I don't have that much hand dyed yarn. Um, and I think it would be nice just to add everything that's four ply and no matter the base or anything. So obviously the lot, a lot of the commercial yarn is 75, 25 anyway. Um, but it's not normally merino and less stated but I think it will be just as soft as anything else that I add so this was a yarn that I dyed last year and this was the uh, night train colourway that I dyed up and this one was a colour and this one was from Ava Innie Yarns and this was in my flax light so I have all five colours to go into this I'm just going to pick out colours as I go. I'm not going to have a specific order or whatever. I'm literally going to just dive into the bag, pick one out. If it's too similar, then I will pick again. Um, but, yeah, I've got no rhyme or reason. Um, the tutorial that I followed was from um, Ellie from Craft House Magic. She's got a video on it. Um, and I was really pleased with it. The needles that I'm using at the moment are these really cheap bamboo um, double pointed needles because that's all I've got um, in a 2.75 I'm using. I'm sure. That one ain't got a thing on it but it was in the same packet. <laughs> and I've just put look, little rubber point protectors on the end to save my stitches coming off the end um, and yeah they're not the best needles in the world uh, but I don't want to order something and then not carry on with this so I'm going to see how I get on see how much I enjoy it it's going to be a very long term project it's going to be one of those that I don't show every week or every time I video because I don't even know when I'm going to work on it um, but I know so many people have these and because it's four ply, it's going to be quite a thin blanket, so it would be nice like going into autumn or coming out, um, going into spring. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> uh, so when it's not so hot, like at the moment, because it's pouring down and it's really, really hot. <laughs> um, so that is a, a new project that I've started. Um, yeah, and if you don't see it for a while, then give me a nudge because... I will show it, <laughs> uh, but I just won't show it all the all of the time. So, um, and that's just living in this bag that I made last year, the year before, um, from material I got from Aldi, and it just reminds me of like a '60s theme, a little bit like um, what's that program? Oh, what is that program? Austin Powers. It reminds me of that. I don't know why. <laughs> And then inside is oh, just plain white. I did the inside. Um, I haven't really worked on anything else. I haven't touched my jumper. I've also got the blanket that I started before I went away. You know, like using up my double knit. It's over there. I'm not getting it. <laughs> uh, I did start the C to C blanket. I haven't touched that. Um, I just want small things that I can have just in my hands and not draped all over me because it's just far too hot. There's me saying it's hot with a cup of coffee. Never mind. But, um, yeah, other than that, I haven't <laughs> haven't been doing much. I dyed up the yarn for the clubs and got that out last week. Um, I got that out the same day that I had to post my COVID test. So they all sort of went in the, the same box over at the post office. Um, and, yeah, I am thinking of ideas for the next one which will be 
August. Um, so I've literally got sort of this week to decide what I'm going to do because I have got some ideas in mind. If you're interested in a mystery box, then let me know down below just so I know. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed putting that together and every month will be different. So there'll be more stuff in some months, less stuff in other months and whatever, whatever. Um, but I really enjoyed putting it together. And if you have any ideas for some um, themes, I, I would say, then let me know as well because you never know, I might pick one of yours. Um, have a few ideas, but expanding that library of ideas will be good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is it. That is literally all I've got to say today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have all been crafting and you're all well. Um, I hope none of you got caught up in the storms that we had in London the other day because our area, not that we were affected, but our area got flooded so bad. The roads were flooded. There, It was just like panic station everywhere, I think. Um, the road near us, the A406, was like a swimming pool. <laughs> uh, cars got stranded and... Yeah, but lucky enough, we were okay. Um, our home or our flats were okay. Um, and everyone everyone we know was okay in the area. So anyway, I'm really going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.